This is a quick cheater's cassoulet. The first thing I do is take four garlicky sausages, pierce them with a fork, put them in with the tiniest bit of water, like an eighth of an inch of water, let the water completely evaporate and brown them and crisp the casing. Take them out. Then I brown some pancetta, guanciale, or bacon, oh, about a quarter of a pound or so. Okay, chopped. And I take that out of the pan and put it with the sausage and reserve, put it on the side. In the fat, the drippings of all of that great flavor, we then brown chicken. Now, traditional cassoulet is bone in, skin on chicken, okay? We're doing boneless thighs and breasts both. Over here, these are the only remaining ingredients. We have your usual suspects in this bowl. Two carrots, two onions, two celery, chopped. Four cloves to six cloves, depending on how much you like garlic, crushed. And then I added one large fresh bay leaf. That's the biggest bay leaf I've ever seen. Thank you, bay leaf gods, for gifting it to me. And a little fresh thyme. We're gonna add that mix. This is a can of small white beans. You can use borloti in a jar, small white beans in a can, or cannellini beans. Okay, we're gonna finish browning the chicken and get it out and soften the vegetables. And now we're gonna add one and one half ounces, about two tablespoons of any kind of demi glass, and they're sold in these little tiny containers, or bullion cube you could use, who cares? And we're gonna stir that in. This is pecorino. This is from the region we live in when we're in Italy. But you can use any dry or crisp. You just don't want a white wine that's super sweet for this dish. And whenever we add spirits to something. What we need to do is pick up the fond or the stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan, right? So now the starch in our dish, that's our beans. You only need one can. I usually add two because we just love this so much and it's such a great staple for like the next day and the next day, right? But we're also gonna add a squirt of tomato paste just a little blob. And then about one cup of chicken broth stock or brodo. My friend, Marco, makes brodo now in a bag. Look, there's exactly one cup, just over a cup actually, of uh, bone broth that we just threw in there. Now we've got to let this all kind of get good, right? So we have to let this thicken a bit. So we had garlicky sausage, pancetta, guanciale, bacon, any lardon, you know, any type of pork fat you like. Um, about one and a half to two pounds of chicken. So the stove is off, I'm gonna try. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. We try lift it. This is, I mean, that's dinner for a crowd, let me just say. A little bit of parsley and fresh thyme on top. We already have thyme in the dish, of course. And then we take toasted baguette and shove it into the sauce. It's rubbed with garlic, drizzled with olive oil, and sprinkled with salt. And this, to me, is dessert. That's a thing of beauty.